family. Hey y'all, Chuck and Paige here with no time to be sad here in Top Phnom, Thailand. Hey, today's video is just gonna be a short video about an update of what's going on with us here in Top Phnom. Mm -hmm. Well, it, today is the 29th of April. And today we were supposed to get the awesome good news that everything is open and we've already got our bags packed and we were gonna rush down back into Kochang, but it didn't happen. We kinda knew it wasn't gonna happen the last couple of days. It's very difficult in Thailand. I mean, there's so much gossip and so many people talk. So there was kind of an idea of the sense of the direction that things were going to go. So starting back April 13th, which was Songkran, they decided to stop selling alcohol pretty much throughout Thailand. I th think there were some provinces that were still selling it, but the reason was because they wanted to keep the activities down. You know, a lot of people were going back home a lot of things were closed all around Bangkok, so there was a lot of travel back in, back into the into their home provinces. So they decided to stop selling alcohol. So um, you, at first, it was like, okay, the only people really not selling is the big stores. You know, the mom and pop stores are still like okay, but eventually they got caught. A few of them got fined, and they got scared, and they just stopped doing it all together. So we, it's like underground, you know. <laughs> prohibition time you know what i mean people making their own out not not yet but that might come soon making their own alcohol i actually did some research the other day on uh ginger beer but it takes like 10 days or so well first off each province in thailand is allowed to set their restriction level and lower the level and and, and add a few things at their will so the prime minister came out yesterday actually on the 28th and implemented that he was going to extend the whole COVID-19 uh, restrictions quarantine for another month until May the 1st. So what that entailed was he came out yesterday and said basically everything was still going to be the same like still going to have a curfew from <laughs> The curfew is a must, though, throughout all the provinces, right? Yes. Which is 10 o'clock in the evening till 4 in the morning. I heard somebody <laughs> driving around at 3.30 this morning. Uh, it's okay. Maybe it was the police. <laughs> no, and uh, and uh, the fact that you can't travel, no traveling, no inbound flights, and so on and so forth. They still have a few people coming in to Thailand, some Thai nationals, not too many. They are putting them, when they come into Thailand, they are putting them in a hotel and they're not allowed to leave the hotel. So they got to come in, they're being picked up at the airplane, brought, brought right to the hotel and mm -hmm. quarantined in this hotel and monitored for 14 days. Mm -hmm. So they're not able to get out because we had a massive bump because of these people that were coming in and they were infecting their families. So that was been the most problem with infection was due to them coming home and infecting their families so but in our province our I guess you can call him the mayor what do you call him in Thai? Pua. Pua. Mm -hmm. Pua. Mm -hmm. Pua said no alcohol until the 15th so what he wants to do is kind of do it on a, a bi-monthly check right so our rules apply to as of the 15th on top of what the prime minister said. So he's going to open the restaurants. He's going to open businesses. No restaurants that are enclosed, right? Yeah. No restaurants inside the mall, uh, shopping centers. Shopping center, yeah. No bars. No nightclub. No nightclub. Any if, if it's a restaurant and bar, what are they Only doing? restaurant. Do they just block off the restaurant part? Uh, no, it's nobody I mean, sits at the bar. Nobody sits at the bar. So no alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be dealing M150 bottles of saying so I'm here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> we still have one more connection. Yay. <laughs> Hopefully it'll hold up for another two weeks. But uh, we ran out actually and I was like, 
pulling out the inventory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have two bottles of Canadian whiskey, little bottles, mm -hmm. a bottle of like house tequila. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, no, a, uh, like a quarter bottle of Chevis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, okay, this isn't going to work. So I, I started researching on how to make wine and beer. <laughs> <laughs> <Take too long>. <laughs> <laughs> trying to stay in good spirits with all this stuff there's nothing we can do you know uh, mm -hmm. right now Thailand has 238 people in the entire country who's infected with coronavirus yeah. 54 people have passed away mm -hmm. definitely not good you know mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of them had most of them had some underlying conditions to go along with that as well mm -hmm. so they had a lot of complications i shared a site with you guys the other day and if you're interested you can watch at the end of each one of these re daily reports a guy comes on and speaks english and i'll share the link again on the facebook page and you can just skip through it till he speaks english and then you can hear the daily reports of what's going on throughout all of Thailand, but the provinces are all going to be different because mm -hmm. uh, they're just going to, you know, if it may be a week, I don't think he's going to change anything here in a week. It's going to be two weeks unless some, you know, people start rioting or something. I don't see that happening, but a lot of people mm -hmm. are breaking curfew. They've had a jump in curfew breakers here the last couple days. They're up to like 500 and something people that, which is not too bad for an entire country, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure a lot more people have um, broke curfew that didn't actually get in trouble. I saw on the news this morning a truck full of monks uh, with a case full of alcohol in the back breaking <laughs> curfew. You know, <laughs> it's like, what are we gonna do with these guys? You know, but they were on the news, so I guess they had to do something with mm -hmm. the guys. I'm looking forward to going to the river and, and eating on kuanuis. How are we gonna do this? My guess is fill up two bucky cups full of beer and go down there and, and eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Either that or a couple of M150 bottles of Sang Som and, and, and a cup of Coke, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a glass of Coke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a kid, you know, like, like a 16 years old going on a date, you know, trying to get your girlfriend wasted, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, you know. Mm -hmm. I bit yesterday, was it yesterday? I gave blood. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I gave blood. I, I've been given blood every 90 days. I do it sooner, but they won't let you in Thailand. Mm -hmm. I don't think Thai people have enough blood. <laughs> yeah, they give you some vitamin too. Yeah, they iron. gave me some iron, but I don't think I need it. <laughs> but you know, when they, you give blood here, it's a little tiny. tiny we bag. give like a gigantic bag, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, I was happy to do that. I have O positive, and uh, they really desperately need O negative blood here, but O positive still, they're desperate for that as well. But, mm -hmm. uh, they do need a lot of O negative, so. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody they asked me, somebody had asked me if can they donate as a tourist? But I don't think you can. I don't know. Because they wanted to see my passport, right? And they yeah, wanted to see my visa. I think you have to leave here for six months. I think that's it. They want to make sure that you are disease free mm -hmm. and in the system, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know the theory behind it 100%, but I think you have to be here six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. It's very important to have clean blood, but they do test you. They prick you and they, what is that, just an alcohol test? No, they test your, the quality of your blood. If you have a thin. Uh huh. But then they won't take it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay. I said, look, you might not, might not want to leave because the bag's going to be full in like a minute. She's like, hee hee hee. Sure enough, she's like, oh my God, it's so fast. I'm like, yeah. You need more? I have a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, I gave blood. I went to the doctor again to have my eye checked out. I started out with a, <laughs> with a, uh, a stop. And it's gone, but there's still a bump there. So he wants to remove it, remove the bump. So I'm looking forward to that. Possibly tomorrow, it's still there. So I guess mm -hmm. he said, he gave me some some stronger uh, 
like just antibiotics. I don't know, remember the name of it. Mm -hmm. So I got that going for me. Paige is hanging in there. Paige is still dealing with me. <laughs> we go back and forth, you know, at lunch, and I, I gotta stop. But it's my, I have so many questions, you know, and I really can't get the information. And Paige is my only source, you know, so she's good about answering me questions. But, you know, I, I start with the what ifs and the whys, you know, and she's like, and I know it's over, stop. <laughs> You know, because to me it's like... I, I like it to sit outside you say why and that's great. <laughs> oh yeah, we're sitting outside in our nice cool back little patio. It's uh, The mafias haven't sat back here actually yet and had coffee, but it's pretty cool back here. I feel like I'm going to play putt putt golf or something. <laughs> <laughs> in your playroom. We had a gecko climbing up the wall here. She goes, what is that? It looks like an animal. I was like... How, that's not like a cat or something. How do you get back here? Can't go through the fence. <laughs> but no, I said, oh, that's a gecko. A big gecko, actually. Yeah, it's, not poop it's a big gecko poop. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just feel like hearing about another. We're at 238. We've had nine people today come up, new people. And nine people yesterday, so our number of people actually getting infected is very low. And uh, I feel like in about a week or so, there's going to be zero people, you know, with the infection. And the mm -hmm. whole country's having to be locked down, punished. <laughs> you know, my scenarios are like, okay, if there's nobody that has ever been infected in the Kompanom, and the Kompanom is closed, and there's nobody has ever been infected in Mukdahan, and it's closed, and why can't we just do business as usual in our area, in our, in our little province, until this thing goes over, you know? But no, no, you know. <laughs> so, you know, they basically say the reason why our numbers are so low is because of the strict rules that we have and um, the control, so. I gotta really hand it to Thai people. I never imagined them being so complacent. I, I just, I never thought of it, you know. I know here pretty soon when the number gets that, and I can see it now though, they're already kind of not wearing the masks when they're doing their everyday running around. When they get into crowds, they, they do. They can't go into big stores like Lothus without it. They won't let you enter without a mask, so they have to wear it there, but are you taking selfies? No. <laughs> Why? It looked like you were going. <laughs> oh. I see him kind of relaxing on that. And one of the ladies, they went from door to door checking temperatures yesterday throughout mm -hmm. all of top. Actually, they got a mission throughout, not these people, but each little AMPA, they got a group of people that go door to door and check mm -hmm. everybody's temperature. And I told one of the ladies, I said, when am I going to be able to buy beer? She goes, ah. she's like, I'm running to buy, she goes, I want to buy beer too. I'm, I need beer, I need beer. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I don't know, we got to wait. Jai yin yin, jai yin yin, which means relax, relax, relax. Mm -hmm. So, but that's pretty much what's happening. And I'm just trying to stay positive. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of exercise. <sighs> The weight comes off slow when you're over 50, you know, it really is hard. The only thing you could do is stop, stop drinking alcohol for one and uh, stop eating as much. But I've been bike riding like mad uh, in the area and then uh, just exercise. What can I do, you know? Tonight, your mom's making something. What's she making? Mutat Gatiam. Mutat Gatiam. Uh, fried pork garlic. with garlic. So I might just extend the video out for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. What else are we going to do, right? <laughs> Drink some Leo. Drink some Leo. Don't say that too loud. <laughs> Leo? You got Leo? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, guys, in the other provinces. Um, I have a lot of people on Facebook sharing stuff back and forth. I, with, as a foreigner, there's a lot of confusion right now for us because 
uh, the information coming out of the provinces are not in English. So we're getting secondhand information. There is a Facebook page for each province and Paige got the information today from the official Facebook page of Nakom Panom. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she just shared it to me like yeah. about 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Anything else new in the news? No, nothing yet. Nothing. Durian's still expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Durian's still expensive. And anyway, I bet Kuanui's is going to be happy to be open. I, all the restaurants I bet are going to be happy, but there's not going to... The, the thing about Top Panom is we usually have a lot of tourism here. Thai, a lot of Thai people coming from Laos. Mm -hmm. A lot of... A lot of not, did I say Thai people? A lot of Lao, Lao people, people come into Thailand from Laos. And a lot of people come into the temple all the time and uh, really generates a lot of business for, for, for here. So there's a lot of people here in Tapanong that are from Bangkok or that came here from Bangkok to be with their families. So, but it's not the same to go sit at a restaurant without having a beer, you know. So, this is Thailand, but it'll be a two more weeks until we know anything else yeah. and uh, I drink Fanta. Drink Fanta. Fanta. Can your source buy you a bottle of vodka? Right. I don't know. Could you mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. She only has Sanctum and I think uh, like pure alcohols, you might have to make a distiller. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't started on any more projects in the house. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just, uh, yeah, day to day. Okay, I just got back from a high-speed 10K ride. I can only go it in the morning and at night because it's, it's so damn hot right now. But uh, I want to take Paige to go see Matt. Matt Owen and Paul Samchai are redoing their house and they got it all tore apart. I'm just gonna take a quick look before we eat dinner. Mm -hmm. That's good fruit right here for a uh, monkey fruit. Yeah, but it's not ripe yet. Yeah, look at that. They sold some property in China, <laughs> and uh, they're redoing the house. Very good. Boy. Very good. Yeah. Mm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're fine? Mm. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Very cool. We'll check mm. back. Mm. Should be done, what, next week? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dinner time. Look at that. getting wind blown in my camera. What are you doing? What are you doing? Selfie. You're gonna take a selfie on Facebook? Well guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish I had better information to tell you today. Before I forget, the people that are stranded here in Thailand and can't get flights back home, all the, I'm gonna leave a little thing up here on the corner. The visas are all extended until July 31st. Also, you do not have to do 90 day check-ins, no fees, no fines till July 31st, 2020. I hope everybody's safe. I know everybody's going through the same thing. I am, everybody's, uh, I don't know. It'll get better, I'm sure. Hang in there, be strong, be safe and be smart and uh, don't forget to click the like button subscribe i will see you guys on the next video bye